Welcome to another video from Quellfire. I'm Alec, I'm the technical manager, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Quellstop Firebat system that's been tested in the Euroclad Firemaster walls. We've tested both 100 mil and 150 mil. And to help me, Adrian from our R&D team, thanks for joining Adrian, um, has made these demo models here, just showing some blank seals. Uh, we have an, a letterbox application here and a Patrus application. Um, obviously, this is a blank seal. We have tested these with service penetrations and we have a number of details that you can find on the website. But we just wanted to talk through how we um, installed the bat, sort of some of the differences that people might be used to with our other information. So Adrian, we're gonna talk through the letterbox application first. Um, this is a 150 mil wall, just to make it a bit easier for the viewers to see the, the sort of the install process. So can you just talk through the steps that we did with this application here? Yeah, so the aperture will be cut out um, and then it needs lining or framing, if you like, with the steel angle iron, which is a 25 by 25 by 2 mil angle iron. And that's fixed in place, bedded on a bead of Quellstop acrylic sealant, fixed using the 25 mil stitcher screws, self-drilling screws, and those need installing at 300 mil centers. Um, and then the gap between them here, so to a two mil depth, if you like, needs filling with Quellstop acrylic sealant to make it a, a smooth surface yeah, yeah. going through for the back to be installed against, yes. Yeah, no, um, as, as you've seen when you zoomed in, like I said, like Adrian said, we've coated that exposed rock fiber insulation of the wall, uh, which is very different from other some details, uh, typically with other manufacturers that have done some testing with these wall systems. You require a board system. We wanted to try and keep it simple. Um, so when we did the test, we just ex covered that um, all the exposed rock fiber with our Quellstop acrylic sealant and made that nice sort of <coughs> flat, smooth, flush surface. Um, like I said, we did this demo board in the 150 mil wall. The bat itself is 50 mil thick, so that's why you can see there's an air gap within the wall, so the bat is installed flush with the wall. Obviously, with the 100 mil wall, the bats would be would be um, back to back, but that's quite a simple solution, and we can offer up um, solutions up to two hours with our service penetrations, and the maximum aperture size we've currently tested is one meter by one meter. So you can reach out and ask for those details. But one of the big differences between this application and the net one we're gonna talk about next is the requirement on the letterbox is to have this steel angle, as we talked about, and that can add additional costs. So where you maybe have only 60 minute requirements um, or 90 minutes, um, you can look at our Patris applications, which might be a bit more suitable. Now, some of you obviously be quite familiar with Patris from our flexible or rigid wall uh, datas, um, but there is a few differences here because of this wall system. Uh, so Adrian, can you just talk through the steps of what we did here for it? Yeah, so the aperture's cut out, um, the bat is cut to suit, allowing for a 100 mil overlap, and then it's fixed in place using the 75 mil long self tapping screws with the 25 mil penny washer yep. and they're installed at 150 mil centers and one in each corner or in from the edge of a cut in the back if you yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, normally centrally away from the overlap, etc. cetera. But yeah. the, the key thing for this, for those that um, just, just um, might miss that is the overlap on this is 100 mil. Typically with our flexible wall details, we have applications for a four-sided patris where it's 50 mil the top and the sides and 30 mil on the bottom. But because of this wall system, which is a, um, for those that don't know, sort of metal each side of uh, rock fiber insulation, um, the, 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 uh, the overlap had to be 100 mil. So that's a key difference here uh, for anyone that's um, more used to our flexible wall data. And another thing, obviously, you notice, like I said, it doesn't, um, the aperture does not have the angle irons. The bat is simply face fixed flush to the wall yeah. and you don't require the quail stop acrylic sealant that we had with this application. So this is an alternative if you don't want to make those openings nice and neat and framed uh, and framed with this angle. We do have these options as well. And again, the aperture size you tested for this is one meter by one meter. And we have a number of different service types tested for this and it can be used on both 100 mil and 150 mil walls or thicker. 
if you need any information about um, the sort of applications that we've talked through today, please visit our website. You can go to our quail selector. You can check out our standard detailed drawings there or feel free to contact our technical team where we can send you the um, applications as well. Um, but as always, the main source of new information is our YouTube channel. So please make sure you um, subscribe. And as Adrian likes to remind everyone, hit that little notification bell so you can be up to date with all our new videos. And we try to release one video at least every week. Um, so I just wanna say thank you for joining me on this video, Adrian. And thank you for watching. Thank you.